Six months living in Sweden. Six months. Okay, let me find my area to record in and then we're gonna get into six months of living in Stockholm, Sweden and what it's like if you're thinking about living here. Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about six months living in Stockholm, Sweden and what it's like. A bit of my backstory, I have lived in the UK for my whole life. I am half Swedish, my mum is Swedish. We come here every year, but I have never really lived here and actually absorbed in that Swedish culture. So I have been living here since January 2022 and it is now July and it has been six months. So I thought I'd record this video just letting you know what it's like to live in Sweden and some things that I have learned. I have 10 things that I'm gonna go through. Just things that I've learned, things that I've discovered about Stockholm and if you're thinking of moving here or if you're just intrigued, then I'm sure you will like this video. But first of all, I have a little bit of a disclaimer, I guess. I just wanna say, life is what you make it. So I'm gonna tell you what it's like living in Stockholm, but to be honest, it doesn't matter where you live, you create your own life. So if you are unhappy in your situation now, Yes, a new destination might help, but overall, it's all about what's in here. Your thoughts create your life and you control your thoughts and you can choose how you want to live. I just wanted to put that out there because I know that for me, I was almost like relying on living in a new location, but all of the mindset things that I had to work on back in the UK, I still had to work on here because those things didn't disappear just because I moved to a new country. Anyway, let's get into the 10 main things I'm gonna focus on all about living in Stockholm, Sweden. Okay, so number one, I wanna talk about the people and the culture. Honestly, I think the people here and the culture here is different from any other country. I didn't realize there would be such a huge difference comparing Sweden to the UK, but there truly is. I feel like Swedish people, obviously wonderful, kind, very kind and generous people, but it takes a while for them to kind of open up as you, if you've researched a bit about Sweden, Swedish people are very reserved and you can never tell what they're thinking. So they could either really like you or really not like you. And it's very hard to tell until you get to know them, which takes a lot of time with Swedish people. So the culture is super, super different, especially comparing to the UK, where a lot of people are more open and chatty and just kind of more like banter. Whereas Swedish people, although they are super polite and they say hi and things like that, they are more reserved if you are really looking to build that friendship. So that is something that I've had to get used to. I've had to kind of not think, oh my God, do they hate me? And just kind of think, well, they're Swedish. I will never know unless I keep trying. Then maybe in a few months, maybe in a few months I'll know. Number two is it's a very clean city. That is just something that I have noticed. And a lot of my friends who have moved here have also noticed the buildings here in Stockholm are beautiful. I'll try and insert some photos here. They are colorful, they are beautiful, and they are really taken care of. There are people who go around the city and clean the city, and Stockholm is just a really taken care of place, and you can really tell when you're walking through the city just how beautiful it is, and I really, really appreciate that. And as well as it being a clean city, I'm just gonna touch on the water here. You can swim in like all of the water around the city, which is, my favorite thing ever in the summer. I just think that's so, so nice that you can go into the city, you can work, you can go to the office, anything, and then you can go swimming because Stockholm is made up of 14 islands, I think. So there's actually a lot of water around and it's all clean and it's all really nice water to swim in as well as the tap water. The quality of tap water here in Sweden is really high quality, which is just, that's just a really nice thing to have, I think. <laughs> so yeah, number two was just that how clean the city is and how clean Stockholm is. I just really, really noticed that. I think comparing to bigger cities, maybe like London and even Manchester, Liverpool, places like that, where I have been in the past, I have noticed that Stockholm is really pretty and really clean and really taken care of. Number three, okay, this is for the single gals out there. Um, I've heard this and may or may not have experienced this, but dating in Sweden can be a challenge. It's what I've heard 
many people say but Swedish as I said Swedish people are very reserved and that applies to dating also so there are um there are some funny like videos out there on YouTube all about dating in Sweden and dating Swedish men and I think it's actually quite hilarious and a lot of them are true obviously there are exceptions I'm not going to group everyone together but dating can be a challenge just because men in Sweden are very different to the UK they expect you to approach them most of the time they might make a little bit of eye contact but I think that's as far as it goes the majority of the time and they're more like they wait until you approach them because I'm not really sure to be honest so yeah I think when it comes to dating you really have to be kind of confident and put yourself out there as a woman because men can be quite reserved and you We'll never know if they actually like you. Uh, so yeah, that's a challenge because compared to the UK, I'm very used to, I guess, guys being very outgoing and very laddie, if that is a word, but that is how I describe it, I guess. And Swedish men are not quite like that, but that's not to say that it's not possible. I have a lot of friends over here who are in relationships with, who are in amazing relationships with obviously Swedish men and Swedish people and it works. I think it just takes a lot of getting used to, again, the culture and the dating culture here and meeting people, um, you know, in public places, things like that. I, yeah, or even online dating and I'm not even going there yet, but yeah. <laughs> Number four, <laughs> the taxes are ridiculous. Okay, so obviously, if you have followed me for a while, I run my own business and the taxes here are quite extreme, which, you know, I am, I'm not against taxes at all in any way. I just think Sweden, they are extreme when it comes to taxes and how much we have to pay, which I understand the city is beautiful, it's clean, it's really taken care of. The public transport is amazing, which I think is one of my points. But yeah, the taxes are, very high even if you're not running your own business even if you're just working in a restaurant cafe anything like that taxes are quite high here so that's something that i just had to get used to but also the wages are better you do get paid better and the quality of life here is very good number five okay this is from a vegan perspective guys but people love meat and fish here i was just really surprised at that because i think sweden and scandinavia is marketed as a very sustainable and forward-thinking and really environmentally friendly country which obviously you can have your points about veganism not being not being sustainable environmentally friendly blah 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 but i am plant-based so i find that wow as well as there are so many vegan options here, people love their fish, their eggs, their caviar and their, their meat. I'm like, wow, it's a big market here. But also veganism is growing here as Stockholm. As I said, it is still quite forward thinking in terms of wherever you go, there are vegan options as it's a big city. So, you know, it's likely to have that just like places like London, Manchester, Liverpool, things like that. There are lots of vegan options here, which I'm very, very grateful for. But for example, midsummer and Christmas, it's all about that meat, fish, eggs, cheese, all of those things. And I was like, wow, like there really are no vegan options when it comes to the Swedish traditional holidays. So if you are vegan or plant-based or anything along those lines, then Sweden is actually a great country to move to. Just when it comes to those traditional days like midsummer, Christmas and the special holidays, things like that, just bring your own food, basically. <laughs> That's what I've learned. Bring your own snacks and you'll be good. So point number six was actually being vegan is easy here, but I just touched on that in point number five. So I'm gonna make point number six about the public transport because the public transport here in Stockholm and around the Stockholm area is absolutely amazing. It can be quite pricey, I think. I pay for like a monthly travel card, which works for me because I'm on the tube most days, to be honest, almost every day pretty much. And it means that I can travel as much as I want in that month. It can be quite a cost. If you are a student here, it's so much cheaper. I wish 
I was a student sometimes. Yeah, I wish I was a student sometimes so that I could get that discount. But yeah, if you are a student here, then it is slightly cheaper to travel. But if not, then still travel passes and travel cards and the transport here is really, really good. So you don't have to worry about traveling around the city. It's super easy. There's an app you can get on boats, buses, tubes, trains, all for the same pass. Coming from a small town in the UK, I'm like, wow, I love that. Number seven, number seven. Okay, this is one I recently discovered actually about two weeks ago, but clubs and getting into nightclubs can sometimes be quite discriminative. Can discriminate, what am I saying? Can discriminate against people who don't speak Swedish, which I found really, really shocking. A lot of the time in Stockholm and in Sweden, people are very, very kind to people who don't speak a lot of Swedish. But I have heard from friends in the past that if you are trying to get into a club and you don't speak Swedish and there's a queue for the club, the club is quite busy, sometimes they will just turn you down, which I was honestly surprised about because I was with a friend of mine and she was saying, you speak Swedish, like, so that we can get in to the club. And I was like, wow, that's really crazy. There is always more work to do in that area. And I am speaking from a very privileged position. I'm a white blonde person. But that is what I have found when it comes to getting, to getting into nightclubs. Sometimes they want you to speak Swedish. And if you don't, they can actually turn you down really interesting number eight you have to be strategic when you are going out to buy alcohol so when it comes to buying alcohol in sweden yes you have to be strategic because there is an alcohol shop here called system belaget yes here it is that means that in normal food shops you cannot buy alcohol really you can only buy a really really low percentage of alcohol maybe like four percent maybe five percent i don't even think i don't even think five percent four 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 point five percent maybe but if you want to buy spirits wine better ciders more variety of beers etc etc then you have to go to a special alcohol shop which closes early on saturdays i think at 4 p.m and it's closed on sundays so you have to be really strategic when buying your alcohol buy it during the week or early on a saturday it might even close at 3 p.m and yeah just remember that keep that in mind because you can't just buy alcohol from everywhere and i don't think they stay open till late in the evenings as well to be honest i think that's quite a good idea and i don't know if it's like to regulate alcohol consumption or anything like that but that is how it works and also if you're 18 you can drink here but you have to be 21 to buy alcohol from those alcohol shops system below get which to me is is quite bizarre to be honest the age rules here are really crazy if you're 18 you can drink but some clubs have the age limit of 23 some 21 but some 23 like that, that's so random to me. Be strategic if you wanna be buying alcohol and it is a good tip to buy spirits and drink alcohol before you go out on a night out because alcohol is so expensive here. If you are going on a night out in Stockholm, be ready to spend a lot of money. Especially if you're drinking cocktails and wines and nice drinks, then it can be quite spenny. Number nine again about the people people gen generally take care of themselves here and they are quite independent and they stick to a time limit swedish people are usually very on time very strategic about their time and they're also really independent people that is what i have found they do their own thing and that can also come across as like oh do they want to be friends and things like that but i'm sure they do but they are just very independent people in themselves and that is what i have learned about swedish people when I've been living here. Number 10, the brunch selection is beautiful. If you know me, you know I absolutely love brunch. It's one of my favorite activities to go out and have some brunch with my friends. And the brunch selection is just amazing here. There are so many brunch places and I'm actually going to record a video all about my favorite brunch places here in Stockholm. So if you want to see that, do let me know down below because I've been having a lot of brunch and it really makes me happy and the selection here is really amazing especially if you are vegan there are lots of options for vegan brunch but even if you are not there are still a huge variety of 
brunch places here in Stockholm. So if you like brunch, Stockholm is a nice place. Okay, so that was everything. That was 10 things I have learned about Stockholm since I have been living here. And if you are thinking of moving here or if you are just interested in Sweden and more Sweden videos, then do let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you're moving, super, super exciting. I will always love to help and love to chat to you about anything that you have any questions about um but yeah overall i absolutely love living here and at the moment it's just it's amazing and it's summer is coming now i can see the blue sky so that's making me really really happy and yeah definitely check out a lot of my other videos of vlogs and things like that and you will see more about my life but i'm gonna end this video here please subscribe if you aren't already i really really appreciate it and thank you so much for watching have a beautiful day week month life Bye.